Oh my good god, it's hot in here. And no, everyone's gonna be saying, or talking to me saying, Oh my god, he started a car. I'm turning the music off. Everyone's like, oh my god, he started a car. I'm just coming up here to put the top down. Because I'm gonna put my rods in the back. Since uh, it's a nice day and I'm gonna ride in the convertible. So, I actually shout out to Michael. He's gonna, he's fishing the Black Hills right now. Got some sunfish. And, um, okay, I guess I'll go ahead and put the rods in and I'll see you then. Okay, I'm walking down here from IMTV Panfish Slam. Perfect. Are they still in use? Wow, there's tons of bass fry. Ah, the beds aren't being used anymore, which is kind of a bummer because I was hoping just to bed fish, but whatever. So I'm going to pull out my empty box and show you guys what I'm going to use. All right, so my first bait is going to be these impulse baits, uh, little minnows. So I'm going to go ahead and get these tied on and uh, see if I can go ahead and get one real quick. Okay, got the impulse minnow tied on. I predict I'm gonna get a fish by, actually, hang on. Let's see, see if I can get one on my first cast. I think I might be able to. Was one. There's one. There we go. First bait knocked out. Second freaking cast. On my second cast on the impulse minnow. See how fast I can complete this slam. All right, got my first fish at 5.32. So let's hurry up and get the uh, second bait tied on. Let's see if we can get another one. Okay, so my second bait is going to be the Johnson Crappy Buster Spinner Grub. Let's break into the package in here. Pull out this guy. Try to get another one. Okay, it is 5.33. Um, starting to run with the uh, Dragonfly. Tried to get it. Starting to run with the, with the Crappy Buster Minnow. See if I can get one on the first cast. There's one. Good fish, good fish, good fish. Is this a bass? No, it's a nice gill. There we go. Biggest fish of the day so far. On the Johnston Crappy Buster, whatever the heck it's called. Let's get a time check. 5.35. It took me exactly two minutes to get that fish. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and get a release on this guy and uh, get another one. Alright, so what I'm doing here is uh, getting these Mismo uh, Jig Heads, pull one out, and then I'm going to grab these uh, OCO Junior Fry, pop this open, get one of these, just going to rig it up on this jig head and tie it on and try to get one. Okay, junior fries all rigged up on this uh, jig head. Let's get a quick time check. 5.38. Well, yeah, I saw that, but it's 5.38. Project, I'm going to get a fish in the next two minutes. There's one. No, it's a, it's, don't tell me it's a bass again. No, it's a bluegill. Come on, come on, get over here, you little buddy. Get over here. Let's go. Wow, let's get a time check. 5.42, so it took me about four four minutes, about five minutes to get that one, but got him. So I think the next bait I'm going to tie on is a spinner, so let's go tie that on. Okay, got the Lock Haven spinner, purple in color, one sixteenth of an ounce. Let's go ahead, get this little puppy tied on, see if I can just pick one off on this one really soon. I bet you I will. All right, got the Lock Haven spinner all tied on. Do a quick time check 544 so and I wonder this is a really good bait so I'll see if I can get one on the first cast there he is that's that's a, that's a nice fish ah, finally man finally 
the biggest one of the day too. I saw him. I saw a school of decent ones. Ooh, he's peeing. Look at that. Still going. Still going. Okay, that took way too long though. It took me time check. And my GoPro says GoPro 552. says 5:52. Yeah. So it took me close to nine minutes to get that fish, or no, ten minutes to get it actually. But get this guy unhooked. There he goes. And now, got a ton. All right, got the uh, JNS Custom Jigs Demon Tongue Lure. Oh, I have a good feeling with this bait. And after this bait, I only have one more. So only one more. So okay. So the problem with this lure is one, I'm in a small pond. Two, this is more of a winter bait, but it's a it's the spoon that you like do a rise and fall action. So I might just try to get a bass on this because I'm, I don't think there's any way I'm going to get a bluegill. But I think I'm just going to cast it out like towards the middle. Let's do a rise and fall action. Kind of like a blade bait would. Maybe try to get one, but it's going to be tough. Oh, God. Right there, right there, right there. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Oh, my God. PK spoon, baby. PK spoon. PK spoon. Stop the clock. It's a nice fish, too. It's a nice one. Oh my god, this is a two pounder. Two, two and a half. You guys can't see them. PK spoon hit it right when I was pulling it out of the water. Like right when I was pulling it out. Oh my goodness. It scared me half to death, too. But stop the clock. Probably took me close to 11 minutes. 6.08. But look at this fish. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's a decent one right here. A few pictures. Good. Hooked them. Hooked them really good, as I was saying. Ow, 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 ow. Crap. This PK, these hooks in the PK lure are sharp, I'll tell you. That could have gone really bad. Really, really bad. This guy's bleeding too. Run over here and get a release on him real quick. Alright. Wow, guys. So, when that bass was flopping around, a hook got stuck in me for a minute. I'm bleeding pretty good, but got battle scars, got battle scars. What I'm doing now is I've always wanted to catch, I got it for the snakehead derby, but this jawbone mouse, I always wanted to catch a fish on it, so, wow, this line's all cheap. So what I'm going to do is just tie this on and try to get one on it. Oh, there's one back here, guys. There's one back here. Look at that. Rip the tail right off it. Rip the freaking tail right off. That's okay. Better eat it without the tail. It's got skip though. Oh my god. This is a nice fish. Texas Rick Senko, boys and girls. Ooh. 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 Look at this. Big bite Senko. He hit it like it was actually kind of hard. Yo, this is a spotted bass. This is a legit spot. Feel his tongue. Wow. Legit spot. Out of the pond. My first ever spotted bass. Wow, get a picture of this. My first ever spot. Huh. Wow, I felt his tongue. Get the hook out of this guy. Get a good pick to get a release on the first ever spotted bass of my life. Ooh, yeah. Knew I was going to get one under there. But let's try to get another one. <laughs> I was reeling it up. 
was like literally reeling it up. There he is. I was reeling it up and he came up inside the wacket. Came up from under that cover, I guess. But first one on the jig for today. Oh. There he is. Got him that time. He's in the stick. Yeah, I got a fish that time. I felt him before. Definitely felt him before. He bit and kind of got him like a half pounder. Ooh, hooked this guy right in the eye. Sorry, buddy. Might be a little blind in this eye, but little one on the jig. Getting into jig fishing now. Yeah, I've never caught one. There he is. Oh god, nice fish, nice fish, nice fish, nice fish. He's in the sticks, he's in the sticks. He's stuck in the sticks. Fish took me right in the sticks. I think he might still be on there too. Look at this in the rock. Alright people, backing it up for today. Uh, had a decent day. A few nice fish. And uh, I'll take it back to the house, do a little homework, then edit the tournament video. And uh, that out to you guys. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, comment, any suggestions. And I'll see you guys in my next video.